This book we're going to read today is called Someone Bigger. And if you look, you can see that it's a very windy, windy day. Their hair's flying. This person's getting taken up with the kite. It's springtime. So why do you think it's called Someone Bigger? I wonder why he's thinking Someone Bigger. Do you think it's because... They need someone bigger to hold the kite because it's taking people away. Maybe so. This is by Jonathan Emmett. It's illustrated by Adrian Reynolds. Here they're putting the kite together on the title page. Sam and Dad had made a kite. They'd made it large. They'd made it light. They went out on a windy day to see if they could fly it. Can I hold it first, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his dad replied. This kite needs someone bigger. I wonder why that dad thinks it needs someone bigger for this kite. Is it because it's a great big kite? It's not made for kids? Then Dad let go and launched the kite. Launch means he let it go, made it go high. Unwound the string and held it tight while Sam stood by and watched and wished that he was someone bigger. But the wind blew hard and the kite flew high and pulled Sam's dad into the sky and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, his father cried. This kite needs someone bigger. The kite flew up above the town where people tried to pull it down. A postman with a sack of mail a bank robber escaped from jail. They're all trying to keep the kite from flying away. And then a policeman riding on a horse, a bridegroom and his bride, of course. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now? asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the people cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Like even the horse got carried up. There's the bride. A bride is a person who's going to get married. There's her groom, the bridegroom. There's the, the man that's getting married. And then by some strange stroke of luck, they flew right past a fire truck. And when the firemen saw the kite, they grabbed the string and held on tight. But all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough. I know I am. No, you're too small, the firemen cried. This kite needs someone bigger. What do you think? Do you think Sam could do it? If Sam could be able to keep that kite down or would he fly in the sky too? The kite flew on. It would not fall. What do you think it might go next? It's been over the town. Hmm, look at this page. Where do you think it's at now? Can you tell? The rhinoceros, where do you think it might be? It says, it pulled a rhino from its stall and other creatures from the zoo, a tiger and a kangaroo. Yes, all of them were pulled up too, and Sam went running after. Can I hold it now, asked Sam. I'm old enough, I know I am. No, you're too small, the creatures cried. This kite needs someone bigger. Who would be big enough? 
maybe they need the Incredible Hulk. But then Sam caught the kite. At last, he grabbed the string and he held it fast. And even though he wound and wound, his feet stayed firmly on the ground. There's Sam. He's way down here on the ground. And all these other people and animals are on the string. And one by one, they came back down. Everyone from zoo and town. Rhino, tiger, kangaroo, fireman, bride, and bridegroom, too. Ah, oh, the postman, policeman, robber, and horse. And last of all, Sam's dad, of course. I'll hold it now, says Sam, because I am old enough. I knew I was. I'm not too small. And as you see, this kite needs someone just like me. Is there anything sometimes that you would like to do that your parents maybe say you're not big enough to do? Well, maybe like cooking or helping in the kitchen or maybe doing something like outside with your dad, working on the car or something like that. Parents want us to be safe. That's one reason they tell us we're not old enough yet. But if we be patient and work hard, and then eventually we'll get big enough to do something, some things. So if you were going to be a kite, this kite flew over the town it flew over a zoo. Where would you like to go if you were a kite? That's one of the writing assignments for this week is to pretend you're a kite and if what you would do if you were a kite. Where would you fly to? What would you do? So that's something to think about. So hope you enjoyed this story. And I'm going to have another kite story to read also that I will share this week since it's springtime and we're talking about kites in our writing. Have a great, great day. Bye.